is Nina from Be Your Focus. I'm joined by... Mark Jennings, Head of Marketing at Notch. So tell me a little bit about Notch and how you ended up working for the company. Sure. So uh, Notch is the real-time visual creation tool that keeps up with your ideas. And so um, my interest in that has come from a child sitting at home, 12 years of age, and my father turns up with a Commodore Amiga computer. And it just gave me such a huge passion for uh, creativity and, and what can be done. And then I dropped out of it for a little bit, marketed all sorts of other wild and wonderful things. And then my passion for uh, computer graphics came back to life with uh, meeting the Notch team. Okay, and how long has Notch been existing and how long have you guys been building this tool? What is it being used for right now? Sure. So Notch, I guess, came about originally from a, a real frustration at seeing uh, render times and feeling like we can do better. And so it's been a slow progress, but pretty much over the last couple of years. And we're still in beta, so everything is quite early, but we're fast moving and we're, we're developing over, over time. But essentially, uh, as, a, as a product, the last year or so. Okay. So for people out there who don't know what Notch is and they want to learn about it, what, what is kind of the tool set that you want people to use? What is, I mean, motion graphics is kind of the idea that I'm getting out of it, but you mentioned sort of, uh, I guess, live exhibitions. You mentioned virtual reality. Tell us more about that. Sure. So I guess Notch is, uh, at its heart, because of its real-time rendering ability, is really fundamental to anywhere where you need to be able to create fantastic uh, motion graphics, animated um, graphics, without having to wait. Uh, that can be live events, this is where we, we came from, where uh, events like U2 or Beyonce, Eurovision, huge kind of events where failure is not an option. But because of the real-time ability uh, of Notch, to be able to create events right up to almost, uh, um, to create effects rather, right up to the, almost the last minute, was really fundamental. But what we recognized as well is because real time's at the heart of VR, it was only a small tweak for um, the product for us to be able to create those um, functionalities as well. There's a lot more, frankly, but the, we can go into that in more detail, I'm sure. Okay, so imagine there's an artist, uh, they want to make a virtual reality experience. How difficult is it for them to learn Notch and what can they create in it? Sure, so Notch, because of its uh, node-based um, interface and because of our real focus on the user experience, is going to be familiar to most uh, motion graphics artists and that was really, really key. Beyond that, what we recognize is that uh, it's really important to be able to create an entire experience in one single tool. Uh, that was really, really important as well. So you don't have to learn multiple tools, you don't have to export, you don't have to have any issues with um, compatibility. You can create a fully fledged professional level VR experience without a single line of code in, in Notch. And that's really key. This isn't a toy. This isn't something to kind of get into VR before you have to learn the, you know, the big boy tools. This is a tool that allows artists with no uh, VR experience to be able to create fantastic uh, interactive experiences. And that's uh, both in the headset, um, but also through the desktop, but, but primarily uh, in a way we hope is enjoyable as well. So uh, an artist can take their previous software tools and potentially import them into Notch? Yeah, we have integrations with a whole variety of tools, which is one level. The other level, as I say, is the kind of the familiar interface. Um, but fundamentally, I think what's important about Notch is that um, the ability not to see, I guess, VR as something separate, something you hand over to somebody else or something you have to kind of get into a different mindset with. It's about the ability, if you're creating uh, any kind of motion graphics, be it for, for live or for the web, for any kind of screen, to just add one more node and you have VR or VR uh, 360 video. That's kind of the key thing really um, for us. It's not about having to uh, go back to, to scratch and, uh, or as I say, hand off your work to somebody else. So I, I guess if you're creating a, a motion graphic live exhibition piece, you just add VR and then it's a simple few tweaks and then you've got a virtual reality experience as well? Well, this is it. it to say it sounds, oh, that can't be that simple, but it is that simple. And I think one of the things for, for us is um, getting people to ex see an experience that that is the, is the most key for us. And of course, um, to be able to go on our website to see the other experiences that people have been creating and for us as well to see some of these experiences, it just reminds us how simple it really is. So what is Notch being used for right now? So Notch uh, as a VR um, tool is relatively uh, new, but for us it's uh, been in live, as I say, for, for over a year. And we've seen it being used in live event experiences, as I said, for likes of anything from Ed Sheeran to U2. 
in branded experiences with huge amount of interactivity. We've seen the motion capture experience work with live dancers and the mocap data being piped into Notch and having uh, interactions there. We're seeing it used in face tracking. And as I say, if you bring all a lot of those individual um, kind of ingredients together, we think it's very, very powerful um, for VR. Where we see the most traction at the moment is with artists, um, you know, music artists, creative artists, who found it frustrating to hand their work over to somebody else and perhaps see that kind of friction of um, the work come back and not be quite right, not have their original vision. So bringing all of our experience together in one, the, the best use case we feel is, is uh, keeping that creative team very, very close to their work. Mm -hmm. And what are the price plans for uh, different artists out there? Are there different uh, prices, how long can you have Notch for if you pay for it? Of course. Well, the first way to experience Notch is through Notch Trial. Uh, it gives you a, um, a wide range of the use uh, of Notch and ability to um, see if you like it, really, and we hope that you do. How long then, is that for as well? Well, that's, that's unlimited, uh, and we keep updating that with, with new features. That's a real um, opportunity to um, get online in our various communities, see what people are doing. Everyone's very, very friendly, and we've been delighted by the support that some of the original Notch users, despite it being a relatively new tool, are uh, adding to the experience. Beyond that, we've got our personal learning edition, and that's really, really um, about kind of moving up to the next uh, level. That's £99 a year, and that's uh, eternal. That's watermarked, but it does give you an opportunity to really dive in in more detail. And then we've got our uh, new um, product offering called Base, uh, which is a starting at a subscription, £99 per month. That is a professional grade tool at a relatively reasonable um, price point, certainly um, very accessible to, to most giving the opportunity to move from uh, kind of trial and learning into using Notch in a professional capability. So uh, for HTC Vive and Oculus, does that support room scale as well? It absolutely does. That's a core part of the uh, Notch build. Wow. So I can imagine a lot of artists in museums, for example, being able to, to use that. And uh, that will be true VR, I suppose. True VR is what we can do. So where do we go to find out more information about Notch? Well, Notch lives in a variety of places online, as you can imagine, and the main uh, focal point is go to notch.one. Fantastic. Head over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out more information about virtual reality, and I'll see you there.